Guagua family, manners and respect right here. Manners and respect right here. And um, may I will talk about, um, let me talk about protection for women and child in Jamaica. You know, we need, like, you know, we need stronger penalties uh, for pedophiles in my country and uh, for rapists. We need stronger penalties. And um, we see too many times men get caught up in these things and they walk or they get a slap on the wrist. While the victims are, have to go home and lick their wound. And these pedophiles do it over and over again. I personally know a victim in my country who a pervert molested a child in our home. The pervert and his family didn't end up going to jail. He got get arrested, but they threatened the family. So the lady and the victim have to leave the community, find another community, and leave the pervert in that community. She didn't even go to court because she feared for her life. But the pervert, he went and did it to another child again. The same guy. Twice, just, you know. And that is only what we know about. So how many times this guy strike before he get found out? So they're out there. And we just want the government to put in stiffer laws and penalty to deter these dirty men. You understand me? From molesting our kids. Rapists. There's a lot of men out there and let's forget the men right now. Let's talk about the female. There's a lot of female out there who's hurt, going through a lot of pain, who've been abused at home, even on the jobs, and they can't talk. Imagine you get abused on your job. You can't tell nobody who you're going to tell. Your boss, you get fired if you want a job. Plus, you probably can't even go home and tell your husband. You know your husband is gonna act crazy. Your husband is a madhead, so you won't even go tell your husband that you've been abused at your job. So many victims holding this stuff in. Some hold this stuff in because they're afraid when they come out, people are not gonna believe them. Because you know it's a big revelation when a woman come out and say, Boy, somebody raped me, John raped me how oh, many years ago. It's a big revelation. Some people don't want to um, break nobody, marriage up and have the body lose their job. It's a big consequences when they come to rape. Big, big consequences. And some of these women fear like they might bring hell into the rapist's life. Like they hold the rapist some type of, I don't know. You know, the rapist rapist. But some women still feel for the rapist. Even though they hurt deep down, they still don't want to cause a hell for the rapist who caused hell in their life ever since that happened to you. A lot of your marriage are still going through the same trauma that will happen to you when you was a kid. Some of you live old and die and never come out and tell anybody about what you went through. You understand me? So we need some serious, more serious laws in my country to, to deter grown men from kids and men from rape. As I said, women need protection. I mean, I like the government put an arm and a wall of protection around them. Here in America, they have rapists. I told you that before in other videos. They are rapists here in America, but uh, they are frowned upon in Jamaica. I don't know if a rapist go to jail if him get dealt with a certain play, a certain way. Here in America, when they go to prison, rapists and all this thing here and pedophiles are being to get disciplined. When they go to prison here in America, they get disciplined. They are frowned upon here in this country. And we, I would like my country to adapt the same thing too. Because I know if I walk out there with a little child in a certain position with a little child and anybody see me here, I'm going to jail or probably somebody will beat me. Yeah, probably probably somebody beat me for that. Reality. All right. Man, as I respect Jamaica, Jamaica to the world. We love you know. So we need protection for the woman and the kids then. The woman and the kids then. All right. Out there. Too much rapists for your bun. All right. Maybe another little story to add to this about our kids. The other day, I'm sure you guys seen the new news in Jamaica where the government take away some kids from this lady who was poor and uh, she living, living condition was bad and they told her she wouldn't get back the kids until they were 18 unless she improved her living condition. And um, I think that is not right. I honestly think that 
when the government approach people like this, they should give them some reference. They should refer them to some office for help and aid. As long as a child is not being abused or neglected, you know, you take a child for two things, neglect and abuse, then you should try everything in your power to keep this family together. This mom, she's a mama with her kids. Again, I said, unless your child has been molested, abused, beat up, or whatever, or neglected, your mama leave her, go on to the dance, go on the road and leave them unsafe. Neglect and abuse. Those are the two grounds to take away kids on. And I don't see the lady exercising this. And as a virus is stopping me reading, I don't see anything. I mean, your neighbors talking. Oh, she's a wonderful mom. I hear people talking. They took her kids away. I think that's wrong. This is 2020. We should have love. We should have empathy. We're the humanity. We have lost our way. We cannot do this. I grew up certain type of way. I grew up in house already. I was raised in house where it was not that pretty. And my parents have a lot of us there. But one thing, my parents never leave us. They stuck there with, with us. We were poor, but they didn't neglect us. They didn't abuse us. But even though they live in, the house was right, we live in house that was right, you know. So what if the government should walk around Jamaica and remove all these kids that is in these homes? There's a lot of homes, people, in my country right now. That is very, very bad, and they have kids. But I think this one, the government take this action because it made the news. Because the person went out and did a video of the woman. And uh, they saw it. And they went out and they removed the child from that lady. Just as the person who took the video was about to get help for her. Because right now the lady is getting help. Not from the government. But from donors, kind donors like you out there. Kind donors so they're building the lady house now. She's getting a house, a nice wall house. The house, when it finishes, is probably going to be better than your house. So you see, it's a blessing. And as again, I said, thanks to everybody who volunteered to help that lady. May God bless your heart. May God bless everybody who stretched forth a donation to bless this lady. May God bless everybody who's drop a sweat to bless this lady. You understand me? That's who we are. That's how we're supposed to live. And the government heavy-handedness come in and take away the kids. It don't make no sense. <laughs> it, 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 it make the government look bad doing that. So think about what you guys are doing going forward. Jamaican Carlos to the world. Like I said, big up on yourself, people. Manners and respect every time. Man up and up.